Turn off the power switch and disconnect the AC cable. Open the control panel to access the internal components of the machine. Turn off the power switch on the system box, then remove all connections to the system box. Loosen the six screws that secure the system box to the showpiece cabinet. Carefully slide and lift the system box to remove it. Remove all cables from the I.O. board. If your board has USB B to A type cables connected to it, remove them and set them aside as the converted cabinet will not make use of them. Remove the six screws holding the I.O. board in place. Then, remove the I.O. board. Disconnect the USB or 5-pin cable from the SID. Then, remove the four screws holding the SID in place and remove the SID. Remove the field ground wires from the trackball by removing the two nuts secured to the mounting plate. Be sure to leave the yellow grounding wire in the cabinet because it will be reconnected to the new control panel. Remove the main cable harness from the cabinet and set it aside. We will not be using it in the converted game. Remove the screw that attaches the open limit cable to the cabinet. Hand tighten the screw back in place a couple of rotations after removing the cable, as we'll need it for the new control panel. Remove the four screws attaching the control panel to the bumper hinge, and save these screws to attach to the new control panel. Carefully lift and remove the control panel. Leave the HDMI, AC power, and green-yellow ground wires in place. Then open the conversion kit and review the contents to ensure you have everything you'll need to complete the installation. Attach the new I.O. board using the six screws provided with the conversion kit. Connect the USB-A to 5-pin cable to the I.O. board at J501, routing the cable as illustrated. Connect the remaining USB-A to 5-pin cable to the new SID. Then install the SID with the four provided screws. Align the Titan system box with the six mounting screws with the connection ports facing up. Then tighten the screws to secure the system box to the panel. Attach the EDID emulator to the upper right HDMI port. Attach the new control panel to the hinge with four hex head screws, then reattach the open limit cable to the cabinet. Reconnect the green-yellow field ground to the trackball mounting plate and secure it with one of the nuts. Then attach the solid green wire and secure it with the remaining nut. Guide the NFC device cable and touch panel cable as illustrated, routing out to the left channel.
Separate the I.O. power cable, then guide the rest of the cable bundle as shown routing through the right channel. Connect the 4-pin, 10-pin, 7-pin, 11-pin, and 6-pin connectors to the I.O. board. Connect the 4 and 6 pin power cables to the system box. Connect the AC power cable to the system box. Connect the SID and I.O. board USB cables to the system box. If you have one available, connect the USB extension cable and Wi-Fi dongle to the system box in the USB 3.0 slot as shown. Connect the NFC and touch panel USB cables in the remaining USB 3.0 slots near the audio connections. Connect the HDMI cable to the EDID emulator on the system box. Connect the DP cable from the touch panel to the system box's display port. Take a moment to double check your connections before we close the control panel. Carefully remove the protective film from the top of your new control panel. Reattach the power cable on the back of your cabinet, flip the power switch to the on position, and enjoy your freshly converted Golden Tee PGA Tour.